Good afternoon, Aisha. Uh, can you tell us what's been happening there right now? How's that visit going? Good afternoon, Bradan. Um, we've just um, concluded a walkabout with the Minister Patricia DeLille here in Saldana Bay. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny, shiny day. And of course, we're talking about harbours and the upgrade to the harbours. And over the years, we've seen um, particularly harbours here in the Western Cape um, being neglected. The Minister is saying that 96 million rand has been budgeted for upgrades here. But I'm now joined by the Minister, to tell us what exactly these millions of rand will be used for. Uh, thank you. Uh, as part of the government economic reconstruction and recovery plan, we have uh, designed all the fishing harbours, the small fishing harbours, along the coastline of South Africa, that's about 3,000 kilometres. Here in the Western Cape, where we started, We've got 13 proclaimed small harbours. And so we, we started here first from Hout Bay in Cape Town. We're now in Saldana. The Saldana project includes 96 million rand, of which we, on that side, which is the commercial side, we are upgrading the slipway. We currently can only accommodate 600 tonnes. We're upgrading it to 1,200 ton where bigger ships can come in. And instead of going all the way to Cape Town for repairs and maintenance, they can now do it here. On this side of, of the harbour is more the rec recreational community access side. And here what we are planning to do is, as you can see here, for subsistence fishermen, they can come here. There are a lot of mussels that people are catching over here. But here we want to set up better access for the community. So we're building um, ablution facilities so that people can come and, and uh, to restaurants here to, to use the space for more economic activity and empowerment of the local community. So the emphasis really is that the upgrading and the maintenance of the harvest must be a catalytic project they can stimulate economic growth and thereby also creating more jobs. That's exactly what I was going to ask you, Minister. How will the locals benefit from these upgrades here in Saldana Bay? Well, so far we've spent 6.6 .6 million of the 96 million. And, and we, we plan to employ more than 100 local people. Not only will they be employed, but they will also be trained certain skills. And, 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 and together with, with, with the training of the local people so that when the, the bigger ships come in here for repairs and maintenance, it must be the local people who is going to, to, to do that. The local people will also have access to, as you can see, all the buildings up here belongs to the public works and infrastructure, unutilized, dilapidated. We will consult with the community to find out how best can we use the building for the excess of communities to the, the harbour. We can see our communities don't live close by the harbour. They don't have sea view. So we must improve the excess for communities to the recreational spaces of Saldana Bay Harbour. Thank you so much for your time, Thank you. Minister. So, Bradan, there we heard the Minister of Public Works, Patricia DeLille, talking about the upgrades at the harbours here and also talking about how, for instance, Saldana Bay will be able to get this much-needed economic, much economic boost from the 96 million upgrades that will be taking place in this area. And hopefully a lot of jobs will be created. I don't know if there's a number that's been mentioned, but when you do those kind of upgrades and you get the Saldana Bay harbour going again fully, it, will, it should create uh, jobs uh, for that local community in the Western Cape. That is indeed so. And some of the people that we have been um, talking to earlier were saying that that's exactly what they are hoping for. While they welcome the uh, upgrades taking place, they saying they should be the first in line when the jobs start, when, when, when public work starts um, dishing out jobs to people. They want to be part of the upgrading process as well. Thank you very much, Aisha Ismail, here on the Midday View.